right, next let's queer up the USA view. Ah, Speaker Mike Johnson states teens identifying as LGBTQ plus proves the U.S. is depraved. The Mike Johnson, the Mike Johnson hits keep on coming. In early October, the soon to be Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives took part in a prayer call in which he said American culture was, quote, dark and depraved, unquote, partly because so many young people identify as something other than straight. He cited the decline of national church attendance and the rise of LGBTQ plus youth as supposed evidence for the so-called dark period. Discussing the risk of divine retribution, Johnson invoked Sodom, the Old Testament city destroyed by God for its wickedness with a rain of burning sulfur. Johnson has a lengthy track record of challenging LGBTQ plus rights. As an attorney for the Alliance for Defending Freedom, he advocated for sodomy laws and the criminalization of homosexuality. The Speaker's more conservative views have come under scrutiny in recent weeks, as he now leads a House where he'll have to exercise a great degree of bipartisanship to keep the chamber running, given the GOP's razor-thin majority. The call occurred just hours before Representative Kevin McCarthy was ousted as Speaker, and three weeks before Johnson, a Republican from, from Louisiana, was elected to succeed him. The call was hosted by Jim Garlow, co-founder of the World Prayer Network and founder and CEO of Wellversed, a Christian right organization. Wow, it's just there's just so much to unpack there because the fact that Mike Johnson is now in such a position of power, third in line for the presidency, mm -hmm. uh, it, yeah, th after uh, mm -hmm. VP, then he's next in line. Yeah. I mean, someone with these extreme, extreme views, and he's another one to me who seems like he doth protest too much. Right, that's right. I mean, he, 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 I get full-on gay vibes yeah. from him. Oh my God, me too. So, power bottom. From? Like, yeah. where did this guy power come from? I mean, it's like, and all these, everything that he spews is hate, hate, hate. You know, one out of four kids being gay or not being straight, that's the evolution of life. That is just right. what's happening now. You know, so what do you want to do to that one out of four children? Do you want to throw them into a place of suicidal thoughts or do you want to enhance them and support them and have them be incredible parts of society? And his wife's had a website talking about uh, conversion therapy and whatnot, but it, the, the website's gone now. Doesn't he monitor right. uh, gay uh, uh, porn uh, sites with his son online and they check on each other if they are, if they're checking oh, on these see, websites or something? Right. There, was a, oh there was a news. So he and his son apparently just keep each other uh, monitor. Oh, sure. Accountable. Oh, sure. Accountable. Yeah. Yeah. Accountability? Yeah. That is weird. Yeah. And I watch straight porn. Yeah. <laughs> he has an accountability buddy for watching gay porn, <laughs> and it's his son. <laughs> that's its own genre <laughs> right there. Come on. If that's you saw pet, the amount of eye rolls I had throughout the story, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, the irony for me is uh, the names of some of these conservative organizations, the Alliance for Defender Freedom, yet you want to prohibit freedom. Mm -hmm. totally. You want to prohibit young people from being their authentic selves. Yeah. Like, like, how dare you? Like, it's always what yeah, you're, it's it's always. The, the GOP saying that the, the party of small government. It's such oh, a lie. Yeah. They've it's increased a lie. government more. It's been, you couldn't be, to be in a woman's God. uterus and to be in the, someone's bedroom, oh. you can't get more big government than that. No, seriously. And get out of my right, uterus. This is right in the line with that. But they, they, they don't want the government to tell them, get vaccinated against COVID. No. Because oh, no. somehow it's an intrusion on my freedom. My freedom. <laughs> God forbid we believe in science, right? Right. But I can't be gay. Okay. Right. Yeah.